an electric field is a region in space in which an electric charge experiences a force. And what this tells us is that around every charged object there is a region in space in which another charge would experience a force and we would show that region with the use of field lines. Field lines give us an indication of field strength around a charged object or in an area where we can see that field lines where they are closer together represent a stronger electric field and as they get further apart the electric field gets weaker. It's important to note field lines must always be drawn perpendicular to the surface on which they originate and field lines may never cross or touch because that would suggest that there are two different electric fields at a specific point. The next important thing to note is that every electric field has a direction that we define as the direction in which a positive test charge would move if placed at that point. So I'm drawing the electric field around a positively charged object which suggests that if I place the positive test charge at this point it would be repelled away. And so we show that a positive test charge would be repelled away from this charge and we say that these field lines are directed radially outward. Now that is how we determine the electric field direction. What is also important here is to determine the electric field strength and the symbol for electric field is uppercase E and what it tells us is that the electric field is directly proportional to the size of the charge. Obviously a bigger charge here would create a stronger electric field around it. We still have our constant here that we had in Coulomb's law and what we can see is that the field lines get further and further apart the further away we move from this object and so the inverse square law applies here and that tells us that the electric field around an object is equal to the product of this constant k multiplied by that charge divided by the distance at which we are measuring that field squared. So as an example we could calculate the electric field at this point P and because every single charged object creates an electric field it is not necessary for there to be a charged place at P we can only or we can determine what the electric field strength is at that point and we know that the direction would still be radially outward. From this formula for electric field strength we can see that the electric field strength is inversely proportional to the distance between these two and what we can see is that that is not only inverse but it is also an exponential so we can see here from our inverse square law that the electric field strength is directly proportional to 1 over the distance squared and as we can see the charge that is producing the electric field that is in this formula has a direct proportion to electric field strength which is shown on a graph like that. It is important to be able to draw the electric field around a positively charged object, similarly around a negatively charged object where the field pattern remains exactly the same. The difference here now is that a positive test charge placed in this field would move towards that negatively charged object so the arrows point in a different direction. All the rules for field lines still apply. What's important to note here as well is that an object that has a bigger charge, so if this is negative 1 coulombs and this object is negative 2 coulombs, we would illustrate that by drawing twice as many field lines because we know the number of field lines is representative of the field strength at that point so we can show that a stronger charge or a bigger charge results in a stronger electric field and it's important to draw all of the arrows as every field line must have a direction and finally what's important is to be able to draw the electric field pattern between two objects between two like charges where we have two positively charged objects we can show that those field lines essentially repel each other as we have shown here. Once again very important that these field lines never cross 
or touch, the field lines must all have all of the necessary arrows to indicate the direction in which the field points at that specific point. And again, these field lines should not cross or touch each other. Obviously, a negative, the electric field drawn between two negative charges would, be, would look exactly the same, only that the arrows would point in opposite directions. And then finally, to draw the electric field pattern between two oppositely charged objects, we would show the direction in which a positive charge would move if placed at that point. And what we can see here is that the electric field lines are directed from the positive charge towards the negative charge.